Now, I'm sure this video is going to kick the hornet's nest, but I'm ready to have the discussion, so let's go. I just had this debate recently with my friend Mario, and I'm sure there's going to be tons of musicians that are going to run to the comments to disagree with this. But it doesn't change the point that time signatures have nothing to do with feel. Now, it is true that over time, certain feels have become intertwined or associated with certain time signatures. But at the end of the day, the time signature in and of itself does one thing. It sets up the relationship between the beat, which is your count, and the notes that you're playing, the rhythm. That's all it does. It doesn't dictate the feel. It doesn't give you accents. It doesn't tell you, uh, you know, where you have to place emphasis, even though a lot of people will say that. They'll say like in 4-4, the emphasis is on beat one. That's not true in every case. Commonly, that's true. That's true in rock and funk and, and styles like that. But in this case, where we're talking about a Cuban groove, the Afro-Cuban downbeat is the end of two respectively, or the of one, the way I wrote it here on my example. Now, as long as the time signature is relative, uh, it'll sound identical. How you're counting it is different. So if I'm playing this groove in 4-4, four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, or 2-4, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. It, there's no difference in how that sounds or how that feels. The only difference is in my head where I'm subdividing the measure. Now, if I want to feel that as more of a double time feel, which is a common thing in Cuban music, they'll, they'll feel it more as like a 4-8 or like 4-4 four, four with a cut time or double time feel. So like this. And again, how you write that in the music is subjective. The most common way I see Cuban music written is in 4-4 four, four with a double time feel. And in that context, the Afro-Cuban downbeat would be the end of two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if you don't understand what I mean when I say four, four with a double time feel, another style that uses that is American jazz. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. That throws the whole argument that four, four, the emphasis needs to be on beat one, out the window. And if it doesn't work in every context, then you can't call it a rule. In fact, the only absolute when it comes to time signature is the math. The notes have to add up to what the time signature dictates. If that doesn't happen, then you could say it's wrong. And that's really the only situation where you could say it's wrong. Now let's take it a step further. What if I took that exact same rhythmic figure, but forced it into a time signature that isn't logical? Like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Again, if I'm not counting, you as the listener are not gonna feel any difference. Now, as a player, if I put the emphasis somewhere, that's up to me. I dictate the feel, not the time signature. So I hope that makes sense.